Hello everybody, this is Dr. Bob DeMaria with another episode of Ask Dr. Bob. Wonderful questions as usual. We do appreciate them coming from around the world. The first question was from a mom who has a child that's seven years old and really wanted to know what could they do about ADHD. This is what I've learned. There's an oil in your brain called DHA. DHA is important for brain health. Back when I first wrote the book, one of the biggest saboteurs of creating DHA was trans fat. But over time, people eat so many grain products, so much wheat, we take zinc out of the body. We don't have enough B vitamins because people eat sugar. So you may want to get Dr. Bob's Guide to Stop ADHD to determine the strategy you need to have that oil be made for your child's brain. Usually boys have ADHD issues more than young ladies because their bodies demand more oil. You may consider an essential fatty acid blood spot test. It's probably the most scientific way to determine what oil you may have excess of, like trans fat, or deficiency of, which is omega-3 fats. Someone was very complimentary about um, the videos that we do, which we always enjoy promoting these videos. They want to know about sleep apnea. They had just a couple questions aside from losing weight, which when you have excessive weight, it makes your lungs smaller and that's why you snore and have breathing issues. But what I have learned, because I practice clinically as a chiropractor and I have a Doctor of Natural Health degree, a normal C curve helps breathing. But once your neck is straight like that, it interrupts the trachea and air movement. So you may want to find a skilled chiropractor in your area. We had a gentleman who was 59 years old was talking about their prostate gland and that he talked about he's been using some cinnamon capsules that helped his cholesterol and triglycerides a lot, but he wanted to know specifically about prostate. What I've learned about prostate is too much estrogen causes that prostate gland to swell. So your liver has to be functioning optimally to get rid of all the extra estrogen. Drink pure water. That's really significant. There's a lot of chemicals in water today eat organic animal products if you choose to do that. You want everything to be organic because they spray everywhere. And this is going to sound a little bit unusual, but even walking on a golf course could add estrogen to your body. If you're going to go golfing, ride on a cart. I use a product called Crisin. You want to eat broccoli. Everything is focused on lowering estrogen. Have you ever helped anybody with polymyalgia? Well, there's so many different names for pain in the body, but polymyalgia or fibromyalgia, you know when it comes down to it, the adrenal glands are exhausted. It could be stress, could be sugar, could be not sleeping enough, many responsibilities. You back off on sugar and help your adrenal glands, I think you'd be pleasantly surprised. Someone wanted to know about white spots on their forearms. I honestly don't have an answer for that. It could be so many different things, and that's just not my specialty. Dr. Bob, I get hit up, hiccups every time I eat or drink, especially when I drink liquids like water. So that's kind of interesting. You know, you probably want to find a skilled chiropractor because there's a, a nerve here in your neck called the phrenic nerve. And I happen to be in my exam room right now, which we have digital video fluoroscopy where we actually see moving neck films. So if this neck is out of alignment for whatever reason, or if your mid-back is out of alignment, that water, that esophageal, esophageal movement could just irritate those nerves. Watch your head posture. Your head might be too far forward. You may work on laying backwards on a ball to help improve function. Dr. Bob, uh, besides eating an apple or half red apple for breakfast, what else can I eat? Well, I want you to know I don't even eat an apple for breakfast. I try to eat protein. You may consider an avocado, eggs. You may even think about doing a sweet potato. I know it's not a protein necessarily, but it's more you want something that has some fiber in it that's not going to throw your blood sugar off. Um, you could have a chicken leg, a chicken thigh. Any kind of protein would be wonderful. Walnuts are very good also. So there's lots of possibilities. Um, Dr. Bob, what is a natural way to treat a hernia? Well, there are different types of hernia, hernias. And in Dr. Bob's uh, guide to prevent surgery, we talk about hiatal hernia, which is an imbalance in the psoas muscle and the stomach muscle in the abdomen. You know, if somebody has a frank inguinal hernia where the intestine is floating down into the gentleman's scrotum, you know, I'm not telling you you should or you shouldn't have surgical intervention. 
you may want to lose weight. Sometimes I know that an athletic supporter would help anything to stop the excessive pressure on that lower part of your abdomen. I don't know how big you are, but you probably may, in fact, need to lose weight. My name is Dr. Bob DiMaria.